Hi everyone, welcome to Morton's channel and welcome to the vinyl community guys watching. So in between the last few days and packing and everything, I sort of had an idea, maybe for a thread, if you guys want to jump on this. Um, so the idea popped up in my head and it is basically the music made me do it. Okay. Have you ever bought a soundtrack or listened to some songs that were playing ex in, you know, in excess because of a new movie that uh, was coming out? Or a movie that has already been out or a classic or a, something that you haven't ever seen and you wouldn't have seen it if it hadn't been for the music. Now, it may be a movie where you felt embarrassed for having seen it uh, because maybe you're a guy and the movie was kind of a chick flick or you were embarrassed for having seen it because it was really shit or it was uh, ended up being a great moment and one of your favorite movies ever but you still wouldn't have seen it if you hadn't jumped on the music first so the first um, entry to this that I was thinking about was when I was stacking some CDs that I still have here in Denmark and I came across this one. Suburbia. This soundtrack, the original motion picture soundtrack, has, among others, Elastica with Stephen Malkmus. It's got Sonic Youth, Girls Against Boys, Beck, Uncle, Boss Hog, uh, Sonic Youth, uh, again, Butthole Surfers, uh, Flaming Lips, and was really, really cool. I liked it a lot. So at that time in, in um, my life, I was collecting movies on Laserdisc, and um, I don't think this movie got uh came out in the cinemas here in scandinavia but it came around the same time as uh, for example empire records and a few other uh similar type films and it was kind of hailed as what singles were to the grunge movement this movie was kind of the generation x movie uh, who are we? What do we want to do? Uh, and it's from the director of uh, Dazed and Confused, Richard Linklander. And here's the laser disc itself. Sorry about my light setup here. It stars um, Jace Bartok, Amy Carey, Nikki Kat, uh, Ajay Naidu, Parky Posey. Giovanni Ribisi um, and uh, Steve Zahn is in it as well. And it was a play originally. I think Steve Zahn was one of the um, uh, guys who stayed over from, from when it was a play. And it is not right. Oh, I, thought, I saw this film uh, several times thinking there was something wrong with me. But it, oh God, it's depressing. It's basically a bunch of... Um, dropouts and people who were at the same high school or and they uh, congregate uh, obviously around these dumpsters out, outside some 7-eleven-ish place and they harass the Indian man and his wife who works there and they're opinionated and uh, quite stupid and they have these relationships and the girls are semi-suicidal or whatever and that is this one guy coming back who now is about to break through as far as fame goes uh, you see him here with his guitar complete douchebag and there is an ex-army uh, veteran who's uh, volatile and abusive and in the end, the main person, Giovanni Ribisi, is being told off by the Indian guy that he isn't going anywhere with his life and he's wasting his life. And when you're done watching the film, aside from the music, you also feel that you have been wasting your life. 
So that's uh, the music made me do it. Suburbia. Thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another video.